Hello and welcome to the stream. Tonight we're starting a new game, Automation Empire. And uh, those of you who are here in the chat, feel free to suggest uh, which uh, planet we should start on. I actually probably turn this music down just a little bit. It was okay for the for the. Um, okay for the for the for the lead-in but for the for the countdown but it's a little loud for for the trying to talk over it so we have quite a selection here of planets and it looks like there's more to come in some some future whether that means I need to unlock them or how that works but uh, we have split valley rocky hills craters Coastline, Glacier Zone, Open Space, Oasis Lake, Island Hopper, Compact Canyon, and Snow Forest. I like the fact that they are actually represented by planets and like you can, you're hopping around a planetary system to see these. So if there are no uh, suggestions. I think I I think I'll pick Oasis Lake. I like the look of that. The desert, but it's got some some greenery to it. I like the look of the rocks and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna we're gonna try this one out. Um, so we have this overarching goal of thirty thousand kilograms, three month weight output. Um, let's see. How about uh, make it nice and original there. I think I will start with starter mode on just so we can we can do that. Um, I have played about 30 minutes just to familiarize myself with some of the controls, the bindings, things like that. But I, I barely got a little bit of a of a factory setup. So I think we can just go ahead and start start from scratch with starter mode on and then go from there. Alrighty, so we have we have a, uh, a road pre-built for us, coal mine, power uh, power station, a drone bay, crate maker, and a single drone bot. I think one of the first things to do is to add a couple of more drones. We'll go ahead and add all four that we can have here. Uh, each drone bay is, uh, gives us four drones, so I think that's a good place to start. We'll go ahead and add an unload station onto here. Oops. I keep dragging and then releasing, thinking it's going to build, and it doesn't build. Okay, so one mine gives us one coal ore every 10 seconds. This can make one crate every three seconds, but uh, as I learned from watching Catherine and Sky's videos, it's not exactly one every three seconds. It's more like one every four seconds. Um, but it can only actually, because of the way this is set up, it can actually only produce one every 10 seconds because the uh, mine is only producing one every 10 seconds. So that's one of the first things we need to do is set up two more mining rigs here and attempt to get all of this stuff into a, a single sort of output so we can load this truck uh, up that way. So I'm gonna use the minecart tracks for that. And let's see, how do I wanna do this? If I did that one there. Um, don't like it either way. Could potentially go like around, around like this if we can squiggle this just right. No, it's too narrow to squiggle just right. Or it's too too close to skirt. Yeah, too narrow. That's what I wanted to say. That was correct, Wally. And then this one is too close as well. So doing something like that's not going to work. 
Hmm. That way. I did like this. And then I did like this. Is that too far? That's too far. Hey, Fazian, welcome to the stream. I don't like that there's no music in this game. That's kind of an annoying uh, feature. Um, but we'll, we'll be okay. How do I want to connect all three of these? Actually, I could potentially just do... Go around the outside. Just go like this. And just make it a loop. Of course, we're almost out of money. That's not going to help a whole lot. But... Each one that leaves means one more that we don't have to, or one more, a little bit more money we get. So what's new? Let's see, uh, our pole. Connect that guy up. We need the, uh, let's see, transfer tube to go into the cart. That one can go there. I could have done it over here as well. That one can go there. And then I'll put one in here when we take this out. Go ahead and get... Oh, we need money. We need money. Money, money, money. So I'm going to be really careful that I don't delete this stuff before I'm ready to afford it. Actually, let's sell a couple of these things back. Go ahead, bot. There you go. That way I have a little bit more money so that I can spend on the stuff. Let's see if I do a um, output. No, an intake here. I think that's a good spot there. Put this here. And then I can do a crate maker here. Nope, I can't afford it. Okay. Crate maker. It's 15,000. Although I could sell that one. Or, you know what I mean? Like, sell it to move it kind of thing. Um, I'm going to be very careful if I do that, though, that I have enough money to proceed. Um, bot, why are you being really dumb? So let's let another truck leave the, um, leave the map, and then we'll know that we have enough. Set things to medium, that way they don't, um, I can make things high later. Okay. So I think it's perhaps safe now. Truck has left the map. Let's hope it's safe. Uh, first thing I need is minecart track. There. And then I need a crate maker that has no power. So the next thing I need is a power pole. And then finally, an unload station. As long as I can get it. There we go. What happens here is now this minecart will unload all of its ore into this container, whatever it's mined. And it's gonna have it's gonna fill up pretty fast. Um, those three cars are gonna fill up pretty fast here, because there's so much backed up in these things. But they're gonna, and I need to take this one out now. 
and replace it with one of these. There we go. That way that one is able to unload as well. And the spot is over here for some crazy reason. Okay. Uh, bots, why are you not? Oh, I gotta have it on. Gotta have it turned on. There we go. Load. All right. So we've kind of set up our first little automated factory here. There's iron over here, so it might do to do something just like this to sell the iron ore as well. Uh, the other thing I could do fairly soon is I could put in another road pit stop, which gives me the ability to have two trucks loading instead of just one at the same time. That might be worth a while, especially because we're now producing uh, more than we're consuming. So that might be worth it. If we had enough monies. There we go. Now we have enough monies. All right, I want you to accept on uh, medium, uh, let's see, coal or low, rather. Let's do coal ore here. That way they fill up, this one's on medium. That way they fill up this one if it's available. Otherwise, they'll fly down here and fill up a truck here if it's available. All right, so now we need to save up uh, some money so we can build an iron mine. I also should probably start the research. So uh, this has research bays. Um, you feed it materials. Depending on the materials you feed it. Uh, or no matter what, when you feed it materials, you get uh, research points. Um, the research points are equal to the value at which the item would otherwise sell for at the time. So, for example, if I sold a crate of coal ore on the truck, I would get $1,152. And if I researched with a crate of coal ore, I would get 1,152 research points. So, and then we can use those um, research labs to, or those research points rather, to unlock these researches here, uh, starting with the refiner, which lets us make things like refined coal and um, wherever it is, coal, just plain coal, I guess, and iron, refined from iron ore and coal ore, and things like that. Um, here we have our finances. So we are outputting 66 kilograms a month, or three every three months, excuse me. Uh, we're making plenty more money than we're spending on taxes and power, so that's good. And then we can also spend the research points here on doing upgrades to our minecarts and to our later technologies once we get those technologies and also the truck speed. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Here's the weight of each crate. So these common things like iron and coal ore weigh one kilogram each crate, but then after you refine it, each crate's worth weighs 10 kilograms. And that weight is used for that calculation here. Um, here's the recipes for the refiner. So once we research the refiner, we can um, see, we can make coal, we can make iron and the refiner. And then there's some tips here. The medallion for when we actually accomplish the goal is gonna be a while. And then we have a mission objective also, which is different than the medallion. And then the options menu, which has only a few options. So um, one of the things I can do, since I've waited and talked for a minute, is I can actually set up a research uh, bay here. I could put it here. Oops. I could put it here and just feed it off of this um, the storage here. And I think that's actually an easy thing to do this at this part of the game just so you have some research happening. So the research labs, uh, as each 
unit of material is fed into the research lab. It processes it, it converts it into research points, and it also accounts for how many units it processed during that process during that processing period or in in the in all the processing periods leading up to. So as you can see this claim button is grayed out. So we need to um, we need to get enough research to get to this point, which happens to be twenty thousand points, before we can claim any. And that goes up to probably sixty thousand or something before and then it fills up. Yeah, it's not I wouldn't have considered this game full release. I would have considered this game beta or uh, early access or something along that line. It's not really a um, full release caliber game at this point, but it does have quite a few interesting um, capabilities that... I've not really seen, or uh, not capabilities necessarily, but features that I've not really seen in other games of its type. I know mean, it's been compared a lot to um, Factorio, and it's been compared a lot to other uh, factory games, and it's it's not those games. Not at all. Um, and not in a bad way, or not negatively. Uh, it's just not, um, that's not the type of game that it is. It's it's a it's a logistics game. It's a um, it's a puzzle in a way, like making these things fit together. This one was pretty easy, but I mean, I spent a few minutes getting these three, thinking of how I wanted to get these three into a rail line. So, like, there's 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 puzzle aspects to this game that are um, that aren't in other games that I think. Um, people are overlooking. Uh, let's say none to that. Let's do uh, iron ore at a medium priority. And then I can also do iron ore on this one at low priority. That way we just have this middle truck stop as a as a sort of overflow. All right, so just like before, I want to um, connect this in some in some way. Maybe I'll do this one. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this one? If I did... Oops. Get out of there. I keep clicking the wrong hotkeys. Uh, let's do one space there. And then I'll come back this way. And right there. Um, well, bare bones is a bit of a... Exagger or a bit of a... Not an exaggeration. That's a wrong word. Um... I don't know, miss something. I don't know the word that I want to use is. I'm going to change this a little bit. I thought of a different way to do this. Um, it there, it really does go very deep into the game, but just kind of the look and feel is a little bit, um, I don't know, unpolished, I guess. Oops, I did this wrong. Again, again, again. Um, and so, there's some uh, sort of um, QOL stuff that I wish that it had that it doesn't really have, um, but it's got good good bones. I think it has the, the capability of becoming a really good game. All right, so I want to put a, um, a nozzle thing here. No, that's the wrong one anyway. Uh, up into that, and then we'll put a tank here. And then maybe I'll use a three-length one here to connect to a crate maker and a couple of belts. I'll just do two for now because I need to spend the money on other stuff right now, like power poles. And uh, train cars. Okay, I think I've got everything going.
I did not pick up anything from here. Oh, because it only had two. Because I didn't have the power connected until just before I was ready to go. Okay, this is uh, medium priority. And we'll need to add some more belts to it. Insufficient funds, of course. And I should probably add some more bots. Can I add them yet, or do I, can I not afford them? I cannot afford them yet. I don't suppose there's a way to lock the number of bots, or lock a group of bots to a specific, whatever this is, uh, unload station? Yeah. Okay, now do we make enough money? Barely. I guess I'll have to wait for the next truck, and there it goes now. And then drones. And I can only make one. For now. Load them up. All right, so iron, um, iron ore is going well. Did I limit this one too? Yeah, this is not ne strictly necessary, but just for my own sanity later on, I'm uh, limiting those to a specific. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Insufficient funds. I was too slow. I'm limiting those to a specific material, that way if I accidentally mix something on the same belt, or something along that line, then I can use it later. Okay, and then there's the last one. So, if you notice the lab, the research bay's um, lights have turned green, that tells you that you've passed the claim point, and now you can claim the 20,000 plus uh, research points that you've, that you've gathered at this point. Um, these are all quite expensive, and you can only really use these two right now. Yeah, this one too. But um, I'm going to actually go toward this thing first. It should only cost 20000 so now's a good time. Uh, this is the refiner and factory. It does a couple of things. Um, it, it takes in a crate of material, say um, coal, and it converts it into a crate of refined material, I think it's one-to-one. -one. Um, where's that? Where are those at? Here it is right here. I'm assuming it's one-to-one -one, uh, into a refined material of coal. So um, we can do that uh, a couple different ways. Um, kind of, if we looked again at the processing time for some of these things, um, ooh, we can make the factories now too. Uh, where's the, where'd that go? Here it is right here. So the refiner, if I build one, which I, oh, I have to build these inside, I need to make a factory building. Okay. Let's make a factory building. Just going to make one kind of as big as I can make at this point. Um, and hope that it's going to be big enough for what I need to do. So once you build a building, then you can build certain other things inside of the building, like the refiners. Um, also the uh, step conveyors, once we unlock them, are only 
able to be put inside buildings. Uh, transfer clause must be built in a factory. So this says that says it must be built in a factory. This doesn't, but I know from Catherine Sky's videos that it does, in fact, need to be done um, inside of a building. And these have to be built inside of a building, as we learned. So, um, so instead of just selling the iron ore, what I really want to do is unload it somewhere over here. Send it into this building in some way. And actually, I could make the minecart run through the building and everything. But um, that's not a... Um, actually necessary you can you can do it a few different ways and then um i can i can smelt it refine it in this building here and then uh send it out back out again for uh re for 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 collection or for sale so i want to kind of build a a refinery setup and as I've learned from watching uh, Catherine's videos, one crate maker can support three refiners, and three refiners, uh, I think is I think one refiner is good for like one every ten seconds, refining one in this case iron every ten seconds. So I'm gonna do um, something along that line. Uh, what I would like to do is. I'll put this into a storage unit, I think, inside of the building. And then, um, that's not going to go there, actually. That can't go there. Um, and then I'll put it through the door onto maybe a short minecart. And then drop it off here at the for the bots to pick up. Um, so the way I want to do this is I want to start with a storage unit. Um, I'm gonna make sure I don't goof this up too badly. And actually, I might even make. A separate minecart here that just goes and collects. So like, yeah, I like this idea. So like this one will come out here through the building, and I should have put a door in the building's wall here. Um, drop off stuff here inside the building. I wonder if I can make this turn. I bet you I can't. Uh, let's see. No, I bet you I can't make this turn. But I don't need to make the turn. No, it's going to have to be it have to be further away. But I don't need to make the turn. I can just go a little bit past and I can have just a cart that goes back and forth here. Let's do this just to have some space here. Let's do a oops, let's do a cart. It goes back and forth. Um, in there. Out there. And then in there. Okay. And then we need a crate maker connected here. And I've made this factory building too small, of course. Um, as I learned, that happens very easily. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can't resize factory buildings. You have to completely tear it apart and start all over again. So I'm going to do this kind of sideways, kind of different, and hope it comes out okay. Um, Actually, I need to have this, the step conveyors before I can really do much of this. Which is kind of 
unfortunate, I guess, because you have to have these two researches before you can really do much inside of a factory. Um, so I want to wait until I have, was it 45,000? I have 6,000 already. So I'm going to try to get this up to 6,000. Or, um, 6,000, yeah. Um, actually, I should have deleted this one instead. I want to wait until I have 40, about 40,000 uh, research before I claim this. So it might be best to build another lab. Yeah, it might be best to build another lab and research some of the um, research some of the iron as well. Oh, I can't build a lab way over here. I forgot about that. The labs have to be in close proximity to each other. There's a box here. You can see that the lab uh, has around it, and the labs have to be in proximity to each other. Um, oh, so I was playing this, with this earlier, and I found what appears to be a bug. And I want to demonstrate that bug. Um, and these guys are in the way. A little bit. There we go. Okay. I want to demonstrate that bug. And that bug has to do with the research lab's um, abilities. So when you have one of these connector nozzles, um, when you're connecting between, say, two, um, two storages or two of something like that, um, you can put them either way. But when you're connecting it to a lab or something like that, the arrow has to match the direction of the arrow on the lab itself. You can see there's arrows going into all four sides, so they're input only. Well, that's not entirely true, because if I do an input here, and I copy this container here, all of a sudden, these magically balance themselves out. There's now almost 20 in each, and there was almost 40 in the one before I started. And that doesn't really follow much logic if you look at the way that the arrows are and if you look at the way that the lab's arrows are. Because how can this stuff, how can this coal ore flow out of this lab uh, connector and into this storage? So I suspect that's probably something that's going to get fixed soon. Uh, but for now, we can actually take advantage of it and connect another lab in series with this one... Um, output here and this storage acts as kind of a buffer between them because of the way these these connector pipes work um, but you don't have to you don't have to connect the labs to this source it's allowing the material to pass through un, unbidden so this way we can kind of double our research off of one connection without having to worry about um, making making something else here to connect these two. Okay, so coal ore is going to town there. We have a ridiculous amount of iron ore waiting to be processed. I wonder if the same kind of thing can be done like here. No, because that... Oh yeah, it could be. If I did this... Does that pass it through? So these don't pass it through. So it's a bug with the research base. That's interesting. All right, we're at 32. I want to get that to 40. We have all kinds of money. So I guess I could lay some of this out, perhaps. Um... Well, no, I want to wait until I have the step conveyors because I need to space them out properly and well. And is this one going to hit 20,000 before? Probably not. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going to let it process and wait. I need more trucks. 
that's where this research comes into play here. It's, it shortens the time that a truck will enter the highway. Um, so you get more, you have more capacity for trucks coming in and out of this area here. Come on, bots, load it up. Okay, well, there's seven bots heading for a truck that can hold six, so one of you is going to have to hold on. And then a bunch of them went over there when there's a truck here that could be loaded. Okay. AI for the bots is a little bit derpy. Okay, good. These guys are going to go over and help load this truck now. Now that we're researching with two labs, we're consuming all this coal ore very, very fast. I'm going to wait until I get way more than enough here. The, the, the bots, um, once they've kind of attach themselves to a crate that they're going to pick up or a crate uh, uh, unload station they're going to pick up from, they don't seem to want to go back. So, yeah. Uh, until they take care of that crate, at least. All right, let's go ahead and do this. That should be enough. It is enough. And we can get this step conveyor. So the step conveyors are um, can only be used indoors. And they are, um, they, they step, as, as the name implies, uh, one crate every, every second. Why is that not? Maybe it's because, I think it's because there's one there. But they don't actually step, or they, they do step, I'm sorry, they do step. So let's grab a um, refiner. This is a pattern of building that I got from Catherine of Sky. And, oh, I don't have the things either. The, um, I guess I can't use this either. Water, where is the thing at? Oh, here they are. Transfer clause. So the transfer clause can be used to transfer a crate from one belt to the other. So I want this transfer claw to skip every two crates it sees. That way it allows a balance here between the two and this one to allow one skip between. And that way it kind of keeps the crates spread between these three refiners. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. And then... Um, I want to output back onto step conveyors. Uh, that's not what I wanted you to do. Dang it. That might, that might be a problem. I'll have to see. I need a turn here. I think that's how I want this. I might have to delete some stuff. I might have goofed this up. Let's see. That one goes there. That one goes there. Yeah, I need to delete this one. So we just lost a crate, but that's okay. And then I want a... Let's see. How do I want this to work? I'm doing a horrible job at designing this the first time, but I think most people probably would. Uh, let's see. Oh, I wonder if I can do this. Let's put a door here. And put this one here. And can I connect... 
this there. No, I can't. Okay. Let's see. How do I want this to work then? And I oh, I didn't want to do that. That was bad. I just deleted a whole bucket full of stuff. That was really bad. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here... Where can the minecart trains go? Can they go right along the edge? No, they cannot. They can go out the door, but they cannot go along the edge. But if we take a minecart train that way... No, that's not quite what I wanted. Oh, it might still work. Nope, can't build it there. Alright, let's see what else I can do. What if instead I do this? Um, hmm. Like that. And then like this. And then, if I remember correctly, we need to have an unload station at the end. But I'm going to wait on it for a second. To get rid of the crate. Um, bring this into there like that. Yeah. And then I need an unload station on the end to delete the crate. And I want it to destroy all crates. Okay, now if I do a transfer thingy here... And I do a step thingy there. That should handle all of those. Yes, it does. Okay. So now we have some refined iron in here. Which is handy. And let's put a few carts on there. And we need a output spout there. Door here. Something like that. It's not great, but it's something. So let's stop accepting... Well, let's just delete this thing, I guess. So we stop collecting the, the um, unrefined iron. We can get that sold off, and then we can start collecting um, refined iron here someplace. Man, did I do that one off by one. Uh, we can start collecting refined iron here someplace and then start selling that off too. One of these. And a intake tube. And I only did one, two carts for some reason. And then it needs a little bit more track here. Should do it. I make sure I have enough track to go off so that all three cars can be filled. Yeah, tear it all down. Yeah, well, that'll happen eventually. Okay, so now I need to deal with this. Uh, I need an intake here. And I'll put here. So basically what I've done here is I, I have specialized cart trains, mine cart trains. So this one is only collecting from the mines, and I can actually cut this corner off now, too. Uh, this one is only transferring it from one storage to the other, bring it into the factory effectively. And then this one is taking it out of the factory once it's been refined and offering it for sale. And I think that's a good way to do this. 
Um, it seems like it is. That way you don't have really, really long mining trains. And, uh, end up making a mess of yourself. Alright, so that shortens that loop as well, which means that they can get the materials to the factory faster. Okay, so this consumes one every 11 seconds. And this produces one every 11 seconds. So, yes, I definitely want one refiner for every fact, every uh, mining rig I have. But they don't seem to be consuming enough. And that could be because of the whole crate thing. So one of the things that I want to try, perhaps with my next assembly, is instead of having a crate maker and then a crate destroyer here at the end, have a crate maker that just fills the line with crates and then have them loop around. Um, I don't know how that's going to work, but um, I guess it's worth trying because uh, I've never tried this before. All right, we almost done here. Five left there, plus whatever's left in here, and what's on the belt here. Let's get those loaded up, and then I can switch. I can start offering these. I don't really want to offer them until... Well, I guess I can offer them because I have to set one of the uh, stations up here to um, accept it. One of the one of the truck the pit stops for the trucks here. Yeah, so you, you either sell it or you use it for research. Like, that's the only... In the end, that's the only two outputs for products. Um, the f You need to sell it so you can have money, so you can build more stuff, but you need to research it so that you can buy these... Um, these these additional additional machines, additional things... Um, so that you can continue refining to make the higher and higher grade products. Things like, uh, all these things are like different things combined together. We can apparently make grain too. Um, and then ash is basically garbage. Um, so right now we're making iron ore into iron. So that gives us, uh, What's that? Almost double the price. Um, we've kind of flooded the market with iron ore and coal ore in the last little while, so they've they've gone down to no markup, no bonus. Yeah, the trucks are a little drunk. Um, but then, as we start selling this this iron, then we can actually make uh, more money off of it. All right, so this is good to go now. Let's also accept iron here instead of well, instead of iron ore, like that. And then here they go, look. Swarm the bots. Okay, so let's delete these items here. Get our money back. The good thing is when you delete something in this game, you get all your money back. There's no um, no penalty for, for building and rebuilding and retrying. And there's no, um, there's no real, uh, yeah, there's, the only penalty is if you're not continuing to sell stuff, the taxes and the um, power costs and stuff will kill you. You have to be real careful with that. If I look at the you know these unlocks, the next things that I can unlock are these remote connectors, which. Within a factory, you can use these to connect kind of disparate inputs and outputs. Instead of using these things to connect direct ones, you can use these to connect disparate to connect disparate ones. But in order to be able to unlock this, I need to ship 9,000 kilograms of uh, every three months, and I'm not anywhere near it. So that's going to be a while. 
in order to unlock this, which is the combiner, to make more advanced materials, I need to ship a research, I think, actually. This is research. Uh, 50 iron and 50 coal. And right now we're only researching coal ore. And I need to also ship a certain, this much weight. To unlock these claw trains, I need to ship this much weight. So there's there's restrictions here on what you can, um, what you can, sh what you can research or you can unlock, based on what you have shipped and what you have researched. All right. So what I think I should do next is I should probably stop researching coal ore. And I should probably start making. Um, refined coal. And I should probably also make this in a better laid out building. <laughs> so, uh, one of the ways I can do that is to plan. That, that always helps. Um, but I can, if I plan this right, I can bring the, the train straight through the building during the process of looping here. Um, and I think I need to have, I don't need it to be this wide. Um, but if I look at how I've got this kind of laid out here, and let's pretend that I put this up here, um, I need a building that is one, two, three, sort of um, three, three by three blocks wide, which is how big the blocks of the building are. They're three by three. So three of those wide. If I have one for the train up here, then I have one, two, three four, five, six, I don't know, maybe like seven. Dude, that takes up three squares. So the train, if the train goes across this, this narrow edge of this one, then I have a, a loader, or an unloader rather, Three spaces for this uh, transfer tube. Three spaces for th this. But actually, I should try the building with with only having one of these. So let's 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 build a big factory building and just start kind of playing with layouts in a big factory building. This is probably the easier way than trying to trying to think it out. It's just to lay it out. Um, so if we had a minecart. And it goes across this... I'm not going to build the whole thing because I don't want to waste a bunch of cash. Not that they're the expensive part, but I don't want to waste a bunch of cash. And then we did an intake here. Let's say we did it here. And a tank here, just for... I did it backwards. Uh, an intake here. And then a tank for storage. Um, and then a transfer tube... No, I don't want a transfer tube. I want an output tube. Or I want a output transfer tube here. And I want that going over a step conveyor. Something like that. Um, I don't know exactly how I want it yet, but something like that. And then I want to have a... Um, where are they at? This thing here. Crate maker that outputs crates onto this belt. No, actually I don't. I want to have the crate maker output crates How do I want this to work? Well, let's, let's I know how I want it to work, but I can't quite um think it out all in advance. I guess. Alright, so these are going to output here. Let's do three of these. And then this goes like this, but it actually needs to go further. It needs to go to like there. Uh, just past. Actually, these aren't in the right spots either. Because I need to have... Yeah. 
right here. If I did this, and then I want a step conveyor going into each, uh, nope, into each one, like that, and then a transfer claw going like this, and then there'll be one more transfer claw here, so, maybe, I'm not sure yet. Now I need to do the same thing on the output. Here. And then some sort of a belt here, along with the transfer claws. So what this is doing is it's picking up the raw material from the minecart, loading it into the, the storage tank here. Uh, unloading onto a, a belt that's going to have crates running on it already, in some way. I haven't decided how that way is going to be yet, but in some way. Uh, those crates are going to go along here, and these are going to pick up those empty crates. And actually, so this one, maybe. I may be able to get rid of this one and just run the belt right into it. These are going to pick up the, uh, the full crates, and they're going to go into here and get refined. And then the full crates are going to come out and go onto this belt. At the end of this belt would be another transfer tube like this that'll go into another storage that'll then get picked up by another minecar. The problem with this design is these full crates would go here and they would stop and, and then I need some way of removing the, the empty crates, the crates once they've been emptied, I need some way of removing them from here and bringing them back to this belt. So th actually, this is probably logically backwards. Um, the problem is, because I would probably run it this way and then unload it over here. Uh, that way I can have it kind of loop around. The problem is, what happens if this tank gets full and we start passing full crates along this belt again? In that case, I don't want the... I either don't want the crates to come off of this belt or I need to do something different with them. Do this this way. And I think it's to do something different with them that I want. So If, uh, let's see, if this transfer claw picks up a full crate because it made it past this processing here, it can still put it on a conveyor belt going this way. And I'm going to have to delete this and put a, put a curve in here. Turn. It can still do that. But then you have full crates here coming along this, this path, and they can't go back through these machines. So these need to be set to only picking up, say, iron. Well, we're going to do coal, so only picking up coal ore. They can't pick up everything. Okay? And then when they get down here to the end, then I want it to continue on this way. And come back here so that this forms an entire loop of processing that only full crates um, only f the, the full crates get to come back around and empty crates get refilled and then get get refined so the only thing that's missing here now is a crate maker and the crate maker could be put almost anywhere um part of me wants to put it here so that it's immediately before this and then use a transfer claw to transfer it over the problem is is that makes this thing 
this whole factory unnecessarily wide just for this one other thing. So the, the, the sort of safer place to put it would be either on this side here or on this side here where but then they'd have to go around the loop a ways before they're actually filled the first time. So I, but I so I think the the best place to put it is here because then it will only fill if this belt has space for it. So even though it's going to take extra space, I think it's I think it's better to put it here. And then we just need a single one of these. So the way this will work is this will just make empty crates. This will transfer them there if there's space on this belt. They'll go around here. They'll get loaded into these refiners that they're filled. They'll go around if they're not. They'll get unloaded from the refiners here. And then they'll get unloaded or they'll get emptied into this storage unit here. And then sent back out on another minecart, which would have to be here because of doors, which means that we have a spacing issue. So that means that this minecart track actually needs to be here, and then we need to use the squiggle. Uh, rotate. I just went around the wrong... Alright, come on, Molly. I need to use the squiggle, which I guess is good that we made the, this building wider because we needed it to be wider. And I think that's what we need. So if we looked at this sort of maximum size of a building here, we need to go out... Um, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares by one, two, three, four, five squares. Um, assuming I can build these belts that close to the wall, and I can't, so it has to be six squares wide. And assuming that I can't also build these that close to the wall, and I can't. Okay, so the outside most square is, is scrap. We can't use it. So it needs to be 8 by 6. All right, well, we have plenty of money, so let's go ahead and make our spender plenty of money. Um, if I put this building here, I would be able to start it. Not actually centered well for that, so I'll have to start it out here anyway. Which means I'll need to start it. Outputting. Oh, ooh, that's right. We can output this one over here. Let's do that to start with. So now, if I want to manage this building, um, I can start. I have to start here. This is where it gets a little bit fiddly. If instead this curved outward, it would be out here someplace and I could bring it around and bring it in, that would be okay. Because I don't want the factory building to extend this way any further because I want it to be able to come around here and pick this up reasonably. So let's see where we're at again. If I go here, that's six. I have to squiggle the other end in either way. Okay, so let's do from here, we'll do six, one, two, three, four, five, six, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Built. And I just went over our power. Too much power, too much power. More power. Okay, I did not connect this building, so it's not draining our power, which is half of the intent here. 
Okay, so let's try to recreate this now. If this comes in, oh, we need doors. We need doors. Uh-huh. Door. Door here. And a door here. And this train can come in here and out here. And I'll have to figure out how to squiggle this to connect, to connect both ends. But I don't... I'm not, I'm not afraid of that happening. And then uh, this needs to be... One, two, three in. Two, three. That should be there. And then uh, output goes here. Input goes here. And then this starts right there. Goes like that. Then we have some refiners. They're here. They go. Get a more vertical view here. They go right there. Nope, not there. Wrong answer. There. Two and three. And this can go right around the outside. I will finish that up later. And then this one comes through this way. Delete that one and put a corner in instead. Okay. Uh, we need outputs here. And then this belt comes this way. Like that. This one can connect in like that. Transfer claws in and out. Okay. Does that look so far? Does that look right so far? Oh, I forgot. I need transfer claw right there. Oops. That's not what you wanted, Molly. Then this one is rotated that way. I don't know that this one's actually necessary. Hey, Kelsey. Welcome to the stream. This this one here might not actually be necessary. We might be able to just connect the belt like I had it. Yeah, let's try it. Couldn't hurt, right? But this needs to be after the last claw. So that'll be right here. And then this will be next. And then we have to do our train squiggle thing. That goes there. And one of these. And one of these. And then we need doors. And this is one too big. I made this one too big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's because I can't count. Well, that's okay. So this goes out that way, and this one comes out this way, and that'll be a loop of some kind, and then we need another one of these, oh, here, I'll put onto that train, uh, and then we need our crate maker, and that can go right there with a single one of those and one of these there they go look at that okay so you aren't supposed to pick up those things you're only supposed to pick up coal ore and you want you to skip every two i think it's going to plug these machines up now coal ore skip every one coal ore that plug up the machines no they just come back out as empty empty buckets so Actually, I don't need all this stuff then. Let's just accept empty or coal ore. 
and stop this this nonsense here which means that I can stop this nonsense here too and just do that because they can run a empty crate through a through a, through a um, refiner that's fine That makes life easy, a little bit easier, a little bit smaller, so I didn't need to make this quite as big. But you learn. Okay. I think that'll work. So let's redirect our train now. Do it like that. And then... I'm guessing I'm going to have to do some... finagling here a little bit. Delete all this. And then... You can come out... I think you have to come out one extra. Maybe? Do it from this side. Rotate. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, it has come out one extra. This goes like this. And then that goes like that. There we go. I don't really care which way it runs around. It's the same to me either way. So let's see how this works. Oh, we're already making... Already making coal. Um, let me, just for fun, do the filter here. And do the filter here. Ooh, good timing. I think. I don't know. Um, disconnect these. We stop the research on them. Oh, I've already... That was probably not... Not the wisest, because I'm going to waste a little bit of research points here. Yeah, I'm going to waste a little bit. Oh, well. Um, just one... One unit's worth. It's fine. Right, you guys are still selling that stuff. You guys are still not selling the stuff because I just killed the power line. There. Okay. Delete this, that, and this. Alright, and now you're just making empty crates, so I don't care about you anymore. Okay. So, the next thing is to... Well, the next thing is to delete this mess in here so I can get my money back. Lots of money, though. And I'll keep this building. Maybe we'll use it for um, uh planning again. Probably a good plan. Delete those. Um, and I should actually take advantage of the hills here. So let's do a right turn and a right turn. And then we'll go upstairs. Uh, we can't go through a mine, though. So let's cancel that. And go... Oops. Go... One out. Like that. And then go up. Perfect. And I'll stop right there. For now. And this one can go out here. And stop right there for now. Because we need to have some place to unload this stuff down here somewhere. Um, can I 
back this up any? No. It's got to be there. That's probably too close. So I'm going to change this. Be very careful because you can delete stuff that you don't want to delete. And I'll delete these two. Um, and then I'm going to do just a height level two. This. And then like this. And then bring that down this way. Maybe to there. And we'll come down. Uh, oops. That's why. And then we can have a station down here this and then go right back up again like that uh, the trains run faster at the higher heights that's why I'm adding them up there got a few here and then we want a transfer tube and a bin and then one of these. And one of these. And a power pole, apparently. And then now an unload station. Five should be enough. And this is now coal. So we need to change this to be coal. And also this one. Be coal. Probably take the coal ore off. Alright, bots. Oh, I need to give you the ability to pick this up too. There we go. Alright, so now the bots should pick up from here or here and deliver to the trucks. You have to set up the whole production chain. You set up the mines, you train you you cart the materials, you do the processing. You cart the materials again and then um yeah, and that's it. So, we've already filled up the the tank here, the storage here pretty much. And we have a car running around here with four of them just about full. So we have an abundance at this point. Um, might be worth getting another array of bots. It might also be worth, yeah, we're not going to fill this up. It might also be worth getting another tunnel and another road here. So that'll be something we can do during the next stream because I've been going for about as long as I normally go on weeknights. And it's time to, um, it's time to call it a night. Um, so, any, any, uh, any streamers, anybody who's interested in, in a raid tonight, anybody you know who is streaming, who, we can, we can raid? We have somebody who we've raided before. They've been actually gone for quite a while now. So it might be good to see what they are up to lately. All right. Lunch is... Lunch is right now, isn't it? Noon right now? In your time zone? All right, so we're going to raid the uh, co-op junkies. Uh, we raided them quite a few weeks ago. And... Um, um, and then they, one of the guys, I think he said something about being out of town for a few weeks and they're back now. I saw them streaming last night and they're streaming again tonight. So let's see what game they're playing. Uh, looks like it's called Pixark. Uh, actually I've heard of that one. So they're playing Pixark and let's, let's raid them and, and see, and check that out. So thank you everyone for coming. Um, and I will see you tomorrow, uh, probably for some more Automation Empire. All right. Bye everyone.